Hi, in this video I will be showing you how to make it impossible uh, for someone to access your sensitive data. Now to do this we will need um, TrueCrypt, a program called TrueCrypt. And to get TrueCrypt uh, you have to go to uh, www.truecrypt.org. When you go there, go to Downloads, and then go to the bottom where it says Linux. You want to select uh, your distribution here. I have a 64-bit um, Ubuntu installed, so I'm going to uh, get the 64-bit uh, dev file. So you just download it. I'm going to put it in my des desktop. Okay, next thing you have to do is uh, extract that file. Once you do that, just uh, double click it. Go to Run. And then go to Install TrueCrypt. And then just accept. And install package. Okay, so um, to do this, uh, I created a small partition in uh, one of my hard drives. And if I go to the partition editor, I can show you that partition. I go to my second hard drive here, and it's a small partition in the beginning. It's right there. And it's only one gigabyte, just for this tutorial. Now to use TrueCrypt, you go to uh, Applications, Accessories, and TrueCrypt. So once you open it, you have to um, go to create volume. And here it gives you the option of uh, creating an encrypted file container or create a volume, um, a partition or a, or, a, or a volume, like a hard drive. So I'm gonna, I'm, since I have a partition for this, I'm gonna go to create a volume within a partition. Um, then I'm gonna go to next. And then uh, here it gives you the option of if you want it to be just like a regular partition that uh, when you try to access it, it asks you for that pass for the password for it, and once you type it in, you get access to that data. But um, if your data is very sensitive, you might want to choose the hidden uh, TrueCrypt volume. I'm going to choose that option and show you how to use that. Go to next. And then you want to uh, select your uh, partition from here. So I know my partition is the first uh, partition in my second hard drive. So I'm going to choose that and go to OK. Once you select that, go to Next. And then it will warn you that it will, uh, that it will not encrypt any data that's already in there. You will lose all that data. So um, my partition is empty. So I'm just gonna say yes and then from here you select the, the encryption algorithm they're all very good but uh, I choose the first one and then go to next and uh, here it says outer volume password now what this is um, it's like it's kind of like um, a fake password so if somebody is trying to force you into giving them the password, you can give them this for this password for the outer volume password. You can put some fake files in this area of the partition where um, if you give them that fake password, they think they got um, all your data, but they're actually getting um, fake data. So 
I'm going to go to display password just so you can see what I'm typing here. I wouldn't recommend that uh, uh, with your real files. So I'm going to type for, for this fake password, I'm just going to type fake password. Now you don't want to do this, you want to um, create a, uh, a password that's uh, it's not easily can't be easily cracked. And then go to next. And right here, you want to move your mouse a little bit because it uses uh, the movements of your mouse to um, randomly uh, pick a, uh, an, an encryption code. So just move your mouse a little bit and then go to format. And then yes. and it will format that partition. Okay, so once it's done, we go to next. Okay, so it's saying that it does not contain any files. So you wanna uh, put some, uh, some files in this outer volume. And remember, the outer volume is the one where you're gonna put your fake files. So I have a file here uh, named fake top secret. So I'm just going to take that, I'm going to cut it and now paste it to that, to that volume, the outer volume. So now I have a uh, fake top secret in that, in that outer volume. And then you go to next. And now this is the, the real hidden volume where your, um, your real data is going to be your sensitive data. So you just go to next and then choose your algorithm again and then next. And then you want to specify how, mu how, much of, uh, how much space you want to give to that, to that um, hidden volume. Uh, my partition is about uh, one gigabyte. So I'm going to leave half of it about half of it for the fake files and I'm gonna create uh, I'm gonna give 500 megabytes to the to the hidden volume that's where my uh, real data is gonna be so just go to next and this is gonna be your real uh, your uh, password to access the real data so uh, just uh, because I'm doing this tutorial I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna type real password Now remember, you don't want to put um, a, an easy to crack password here because uh, actually this is going to be the weakest point of uh, this method is your password. So you want to pick a good password. Try to use the numbers and, uh, and uh, letters and uh, use caps and small letters. Then go to next. And you want to choose uh, the file system type from here. I'm going to pick uh, Linux EXT. Now if you're going to be using this, uh, this drive in a different platform like Windows, you might want to pick the first option. But since I know I'm not going to be um, moving my hard drive or using it in a different uh, platform, I'm just going to choose I will mount the volume only on Linux and then go to next and again you want to move your mouse randomly in here and that will help uh, pick a random algorithm for you or a code and then go to format go to OK and that's it that's it um, you just go to exit and uh, the way to access that uh, that encrypted partition now 